around to get your ass kicked. Got it. Circle. Angry. Kill, kill, kill. Go to church right now. I am not giving up this apartment. It's haunted. It's rent control. But I am an actress, a student of the human animal. I don't have to talk to people to know their story. Lady, the bitch is back. Angel Investigations, we help the hopeless. She was certainly one of my favorite characters. I always wanted to do a coffee table book called The Wit and Wisdom of Cordelia Chase. <laughs> of course, she was a character created by Joss Whedon in Buffy the Vampire Slayer for many years. And she was a somewhat shallow, somewhat vain, somewhat self-centered, uh, but lively and honest character who spoke her mind. That's so cute. Planning life as a loser? Most people just turn out that way, but you're really taking charge. And I desperately wanted her to come to Angel. Because Angel being dark and brooding, I thought we need a big, bright smile. Cordelia? Oh, my God. Angel? Nice to see a familiar face. I didn't know you were in L.A. Are you living here? Yeah. Are you still... Yeah. There's not actually a cure for that. Right. In the show Buffy, Cordy, her, she was a rich gal whose family ended up losing everything to the IRS. So in episode one of Angel, Cordy showed up in L.A. trying to start a career as an actress because her family was in jail, actually. And you're acting. Can you believe it? I mean, I just started it as a way to make some quick cash, and then boom, it was like my life. She came out here to start a new life, and she accidentally ran into Angel. And hence, the two of them started this detective agency. I think it's great that you want to help people fight their personal monsters. You shouldn't turn your back on the helpless. I'm just saying a nominal fee. I mean, why can't we charge the helpless? She was really confident and self-reliant. And she knew her weaknesses, and she knew her resources. And she knew how to use them and when to use them. Very manipulative. You look amazing. Knew her assets, really? when to use them, when not great. to. Look, I know a little something about self-promotion, Angel. I'm telling you, one commercial like this could help get us out of the red or the black or whichever one means we're broke, because that's us. My relationship with Cordelia is one of a bit of misunderstanding in the first season. You really don't understand their relationship because he doesn't really grasp her mentality, so to speak. She's really kind of off-wire, jump-starter, um, very quick, and a little bit too obnoxious for Angel. You know what I think? <laughs> I think he uses his torture creature of the night status as a license to be rude and insensitive. Sure, he's polite to the helpless and the downtrodden, but he ignores the people that are closest to him, the people who matter the most, you know? Can you say clueless? I love that about her. Honest. Brutally honest. I better get mingly. I really should be talking to people that are somebody. But it was fun. Tells you like it is. And at first, it was without thought. It was just bleh all over you <laughs> with the truth, whether you wanted to hear it or not. These are my assistants. Hi, I'm Cordelia. Sorry about the possession and everything. Uh, hello. <laughs> Meanwhile, she's inherited these terrible, terrible visions that where she can see terrible crimes being committed or demons about to pounce on people. So she's sort of forced to become a deeper character than she might otherwise want to want to become. And she's sort of living with one foot in the world of, uh, you know, I want to be an actress in shallow Hollywood and, and another foot in the world of, I want to save and help people and I have a deeper purpose and mission. Hold me. Look, why don't we just... No! Hold, 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 hold on! Hold on! <laughs> Time and time again, I realize what my calling truly is. The episode hero with Glenn Quinn, he passes his powers to me and I get the visions. And my eyesight gets me in all kinds of trouble from then on out. And it's when I feel the pain of, of the world and the suffering that's out there that I realize just how important it is that I stay doing this mission alongside Angel. I saw them all. There's so much pain. We have to help them. We will. We will. Angel needs Cordelia, needs to see into, through her soul, where these other people are hurting from. So it's through these visions that they get their cases and how they investigate. She's also obviously very beautiful and charming and, and brings that to our show. And great fun, you know, great fun to work with and, and a, just a great character. 
I also packed along a word puzzle 3D, if either of you has the nerve to take me on. Gee, Wesley, I'd love to, but unlike you, I'm not in my 80s quite yet. Through the suffering of the world and through her own experiences, um, she realizes what's important in life and helping others is one of them. I'm not only taking on my mission, but I'm helping spread the word and in helping the fight against evil.